Oh, yes, that looks great. it's blue. You got? I didn't realize it came in blue. You could get it in blue, blue, black, navy, white, and red. And we <gasps> felt that the blue would show the message and the the insignia the best. It looks really good. Oh, it looks amazing. But I haven't had a chance. Like it came just like a couple days ago. I haven't even had a chance to like post it well, oh you're already recording <laughs> and thank you for sporting the very first merch from mlvc i'll see you later at the function because because the oh wait we'll cut this out right no <laughs> <laughs> i'll see you later at the function um fyi mm. liberty did not know where that came from <laughs> what? She, mess- she messaged me and said i'm missing something but we're where is the T-shirt phrase from? And I said, "Oh my God, Liberty, you're you're off the podcast." That's not <laughs> blasphemy or heresy. So what would it be? Okay, listen. In my defense, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I function in general on about five mm. brain cells a day. So I absolutely, after you told me yeah, like where it was from, I did after we had the conversation. I had a big uh don't worry it happens to me all the time in class yesterday i told the kids hey um sometimes they refer to france as as a hexagon you know because it has five sides yeah that's this (laughs) this, i'm a teacher i am a public school teacher well and we're (laughs) we're, look we're not we're not expecting much from you tonight because we know that this is (laughs) this is way past my this is late night podcasting for you and you're already in your bedtime story pajamas Mm, let me let me get a little bedtime story voice for you here Hello, gentlemen. Am I at the function? I think you're saying the wrong the wrong snippet. You should be like, oh. "Will you be quiet?" <laughs> <laughs> like she did at the MTV party. <laughs> now I'll yeah. just wait until you all shut up. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I'll just wait until you all shut up. I love that. Honestly, that was such cunty Madonna, and I love. I it. watched and... that live on MTV yes. at friend's house, yes. and it was just like we were so drunk, and it was so amazing. I, I was like, "This I... is why I love her." Well, just hearing her like witty repartee with like the drunk audience members. You oh, go, yeah. girl. I will go if you don't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Like it's arrogant and indignant, but it's also like quick and quippy and funny. It's and it's so that I, it's that street way of like communicating with people and mm-hmm. holding your power at the same time, which mm-hmm. is something that we all aspire to as part of the inspiration that she provides. It's yeah. I mean, girlfriend should have known she was not going to be able to read a bedtime story to a bunch of drunk club goers at like 11 o'clock at night. I mean, what was like, she thinking? Yeah. Did she not know gays in 1995? Like, hello, I mean, read, read the, the room. The drugs alone. were going to keep everybody <laughs> up. Like, please. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, but I'm singing in one key and you're singing in another. Poor is the man whose pleasures depend on the permission of a queen. Open the door now and, and suffer. Su- 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 Just give me a fan. I don't trust any man who hasn't kissed another man. I'm waiting. All right, people, it's time to get your dancing shoes on. You're listening to MLVC. It's all Madonna. Welcome to the party, bitches. Welcome to the function, everybody. This is your host S with the most S, Liberty. Well, well, well. This has been. I made it to the function in my tank top. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Ben, I know it was a, a struggle for you to actually put clothes on to do this podcast tonight, but I appreciate you being on brand for the show. I mean, so. you think I have more than the tank top on, but okay. <gasps> oh, oh! It's a house. bedtime story, saucy. indeed. Saucy, it oh is. Oh my weird. goodness! It's we're... human nature. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not sorry. <laughs> my I'm goodness. not. It must be one of the twelve thousand bottles of Tanqueray behind you that I see there. Gee whiz! There is, no. is there Tanqueray behind me? Oh, there's one bottle of Tanqueray. I do not really think that that's Ben's apartment. I think he just podcasts from the bar down the street. Oh, oh and no, that's honey, one of those. Look. 
one of those backgrounds that you can like place no, yourself. That is not a, a green background. screen. <laughs> that is not a I green see. screen. It's a zoom. That is background. literally my one, two, three, four. Yeah, we can see it. Five, it's six, seven bottles of gin and six bottles of bourbon. Yeah, my it must be goodness. the Tanqueray. We're about to go astray. His inhibitions yes, run away. Oh, it's not going to lead me astray. It took me right to the function, honey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> as long as you're still functioning, I guess. Then. Oh, I'm functioning. I yeah. am functioning. He's a functioning podcastaholic. Mm-hmm. Uh, exactly. Well, hello, everybody. It's Stefan. Welcome to a very saucy evening edition of MLVC, the Madonna podcast, your place for all things Madonna Louise Veronica Ciccone. We're off and running tonight. It's uh, there's there's no need to to warm up. Liberty's no, got her not. Liberty's got her new hair color. Mm-hmm. I love it. She's channeling Madonna Max Factor ad. That's mm-hmm. right. That's oh, right. that is the shade. That is the shade. Bring me 1999 feelings, honey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. God, those mm-hmm. were the days. I was oh, such a beautiful really were. stranger. Before uh, my knees ached, before my back hurt. Yeah. <laughs> when I could still do those deep squats and a pair of high heels. <laughs> Let me tell you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, that was never me, but yes, yes. It was I'm, me. I'm a... It was totally me. Mm-hmm. I used to be able to do cartwheels. God bless. Oh, I could do, I could do, what are they called? Backflips or, yeah, whatever. Guys, Back handsprings. You I literally be. like roll sideways in a somersault. Like I can't do anything normal. Anything that normal people can do, I can't. It's okay. But, You've got other talents. You can sing. You can, write music. you can sing. That puts you Come like on. way above others. On, I can, you know, I so can like, sing. You can sing yeah. while yeah. Ben's backflipping at his yeah. bar. Oh, I can't do it now. Let's be oh. correct. <laughs> my goodness. Well, no, you can't because then you will break all those bottles back there. We would not and want myself. that. And <laughs> myself. <laughs> yeah, he'd be in traction at the hospital. Yeah, yeah exactly. Plus, <laughs> with no underwear on, you know. that. Uh, be- you know, flippity flop. It would be, so. it would be an, a very awkward <laughs> ambulance ride, that's for sure. <laughs> I you would guys not are be too a, much. I would not be a girl gone wild. I'd be a girl gone broke. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, everyone, back on track. Yeah. Remember, everyone, you can find us on Instagram at MLVC Podcast. We're on YouTube. Just search MLVC Podcast. You can also donate to the show. We're on Venmo at MLVC Podcast. Or think about becoming a subscriber. Patreon.podbean.com forward slash MLVC Podcast. Help support this show. Or if you're like Dear Benjamin, you can get our very first t shirt inspired by Madonna's Celebration Tour teaser video on Instagram. I'll see you later at the function. I'll see you later at the function. Go to the MLVC store on Redbubble or click the link in our Instagram bio to purchase yours today. I've got mine. We have to correct Stefan. You're going to get your tank top. (laughs) Tank top t-shirt, pillow. There's a myriad of products you can purchase. Uh, We need to see you at the functions this summer and fall in the tank top. Thank you. I That's do like it I though. Is it is it a stringer? Uh, it is not a stringer. They that wasn't available. It's just like a regular tank top. But you like it. You like the way it fits. It fits. Is, I, is do. It, I, I do. I do. I have to wash it, it a hugging. couple times, and then so that then I can finally get it to where I can dry it and shrink it, so it hugs my titties really well. So, I was just yeah. gonna ask, is it yeah. hugging the titties? That's exactly. It hugs what the I'm titties now, but I want it to hug the titties better. So. Well, they're perky. Yeah. So that's yeah, yeah. That's see. That's the problem with I ordered the lady side size thinking that I, you know, am a lady, but apparently I'm not as lady or I'm a little too much lady for this shirt because it only covers like half Uh, a boob. (laughs) It's very, I mean, yeah, I'm Liberty's Liberty's cups runneth over. (laughs) Indeed they do. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're going to see a little too much of Liberty at the function. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) <laughs> well, uh, that maybe was, that's just, a good thing right yeah that'll just make the function more fun yeah i'm, va, sure, your va, husband, va, I'm sure your husband doesn't complain he's probably like honey can you put that tank set up on before we go to bed yes <laughs> yeah i haven't shown it to him yet but oh. we'll just... saving, that, saving that for after the podcast that's mm-hmm. right at, at the actual function if you know yeah. what i'm saying mm-hmm. <laughs> well because right now you've got your your bedtime story pajamas on yes <laughs> yes it's cold here isn't it cold there you're silked no we're in spring it's, it's spring yeah here. it's warmed up here today it feels nice birds are tweeting oh and the flowers are blooming and the it's everything is just like spring wow lucky you yeah Thank all right God. we made it through the wilderness kids mm-hmm. have we 
Finally, no more. Thank God, winter's over. Now we can finally the- enough snow. <laughs> finally enough cold. Finally enough love. Yeah. Finally enough um, frost. Sh- shall we dive in? We should. Let Let's us. dive into. You know she'll take you there. Oh, I didn't know if you had it this late at night. Ooh. Liberty, but you got it. You it comes out it. better at night, I think. Oh, right, because that's why it. Madonna likes to start at one a.m. Duh. That's right. The voice that's finds right. her after the in the after hours. Mm-hmm. Well, don't just stand there. Let's get to it. It's time for a little. This week in Chicone. See, I get what I want. Well, everyone, obviously, we are here for the exact reason that you think we are. Madonna posting a picture of her in the studio with Swedish producer and songwriter Max Martin. If you don't know who Max Martin is, you shame on you, because Max Martin has basically done music for anyone in pop in the past 20 years. He's done music for Britney Spears, Celine Dion, NSYNC, Katy Perry, Pink, Kelly Clarkson, Justin Timberlake, Ariana Grande, Usher, Maroon 5, Taylor Swift, The Weeknd, and on and on and on. Literally, there is a playlist on Spotify. Just type in Max Martin and you'll be able to listen to all the wonderful music that you've been partying to for the last 20 years. Uh, well, kids, what do you what do we think she's doing with Max Martin in the studio? I want to hear your theories. Uh, ben, you go first. I've... I was going to I was going to let you go first, but I, okay, fine. So my dive into this topic is to see what he has been up to in just the last couple of years, right? Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, what was the last thing that came out that he produced? And it was the Pink lead single from Trustfall. Um, the uh, mm-hmm. Never Gonna Never go, never gonna not dance again, right? Oh, okay, which is fun and kind of retro in a way that Lizzo's about damn time was retro. I don't necessarily think that's gonna be the vibe that she's going to employ for whatever she might be doing, but you know, we know that. I mean, he's worked, he did, he's done a lot of weekend recently, like Blinding Lights and Save yep. Your Tears, and he's done Coldplay. Yep. Um, well, so, so Ben, I, so you think he's doing new music? Oh, I 100% think it's new music. She's sitting there with her little notebook that she writes lyrics in. Like, she's she was writing lyrics. This okay. is not a remix. Everyone okay. needs to get a grip. This is new music. Okay, Liberty, what do you think they're working on? Okay, I'm going to full disclosure myself, and yes, shame on me. The name Max Martin was unbeknownst to me in advance of seeing his photograph. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm not completely like the most living in the now person that has ever lived, so I don't really know, you know, producers okay mm-hmm. um i'll hear names here and there and i'll go oh yeah okay yeah okay i see the vibe there but his work i i know clearly because sure. it's in the it's the basically it's the it's everywhere. it is literally everywhere yeah i'm super excited if this is new new music i'm very i'm very thrilled to see that but i'm a little i'm a little worried simultaneously because i'll tell you why interesting yes God, these, please do. Okay, these, these, all of, I mean, the history, this person, I mean, baby, one more time. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's like a risk, but it's, so it's not a full guarantee, I guess, because a lot of the songs are very much everywhere. And I usually don't like the very much everywhere songs. Mm-hmm. Sorry. I know that that's a bit controversial, but. Um, okay, so, I, but, but okay, you also, ahead. you also think that they are working on new music. I do just because all of what it looks like is in on his resume are it's new stuff. Okay. The only or reason, it comes the only out reason like that. I want to be pointed about asking what you think they're doing is because uh, obviously as part of doing this podcast, we always like to listen to what other people are chiming in about online. You know, there's mm-hmm. a very large Madonna fan community out there. They're very vocal and they love to chime in about what they think Madonna's doing because everyone in Madonna fandom always thinks they, <laughs> they know what Madonna's doing. Yes. So um, a lot of people were like, no, 
they're doing stuff for the tour. Yeah. They're um, they're not writing new music. These are remixes of her current of her old songs, and they're reworking them. And this, uh, th- I think I saw something on Drown Madonna that they were saying they weren't confirming that it was new music, but they were saying it's something very special. Um, so Drown Madonna is for sure saying, no, 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 you will see. It is new. It is new. Now, in for the most part, I don't really ever recall a recent thing that drawn madonna has said i'm talking about 10 like years okay recent Mm -hmm. um that has been that since i've been following them that's been wrong obscure yes but not like completely wrong right but one or two i think it was news of madonna on facebook they posted that he worked with her on rebel heart which is inaccurate Mm -hmm. he did not because they never worked together screenshot yeah, I got the never, receipts, honey. They've never worked together. But the bigger thing to point out here is that when she's doing the tour arrangements on every tour, they she has done those with the music director for the tour. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As way back as J. Michael Winding and Patrick Leonard back in the 80s and early 90s. And then, you know, up with Drown World and reinvention and confessions those were all done with Stuart price right. the point of it is it's always been the musical director that mm-hmm. she has worked on the arrangements for the tour so that that person then takes that arra- new arrangement to the band to be able to you know perform it so it's and he's that's not something that max martin has ever done before he's never Correct. been on a tour never produced that he's a producer and a, a songwriter, musician, that's, a studio that's, guy. Yeah, he is not a tour person at no. all. And yeah. honestly, he is far too expensive. One hundred percent. Far too. From a logistical standpoint, Madonna cannot afford to hire Max Martin to come in and rework an old song of hers into something new. That's not what she's doing with him. So I say, if Madonna is recording new music with Max Martin, and I assume. That that's why the two of them are together. They're writing and re- producing new music. I think it's going to be a perfect pairing because he is a perfectionist. She is a perfectionist. He's been responsible for some of the catchiest and most memorable songs of the past 20 years. I think I saw somebody online say, she's selling out working with Max Martin. But I feel like after having had a very underground album like Madame X, I'm more than happy to have her do something super pop and super mainstream with a producer like Max Martin because I feel like him and his very like global appeal will work very well with Madonna's hooks and lyrics and ideas. Like I just think it's a really great thing for her at this moment in time. And one other thing, I also saw people complaining online that they don't want new music because they don't want to hear her sing new music on the upcoming tour. They only want greatest hits. And I'm like, um, is anyone going to ever be happy with anything that Madonna does ever again in her entire career? Like I would love new music on the tour. And yes, I know that Amy Schumer challenged her to a greatest hits tour. And, you know, everyone thinks it's going to be this greatest hits tour. But I'm like, look, yeah, she's going to do some old songs. But I would love to hear new music on the tour. I think it would be great. It's fun. Yeah, well, a couple points to that. So let's look at the last four pe- last five people that Max Martin did production for were Pink, Kim mm-hmm. Petras, Main yes. Skin, Lizzo and SZA, and Ellie Goulding. Mm. So genre hopping. So I don't think we can make any presumptions about what it would sound like if they did a couple Absolutely songs together. No. And I still think there's going to be some kind of new package that's tied to the tour that Correct. isn't necessarily a new album. It's another hits package. And God bless, just like the best hits packages, which were Immaculate and Celebration, we got new songs. Mm -hmm. I would be so happy with, even if it's just like three or four new songs, like Celebration technically had four 
two of them were on the album and the other ones were like weird digital fan club releases. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. But four new songs came out with that in 2009. That's entirely within the wheelhouse this time. And she worked with people like Oakenfeld had never mm-hmm. actually produced a track before. And then he right. did celebration. So, and anymore, an album isn't really necessary. It, I mean, it really isn't. And, and it can be four five, three, even two songs. It doesn't need to be more than that. And, um, people kind of think, well, you know, she's known for these sort of conceptual albums that are, the ones that are conceptual are usually the most of, I think the most successful for her, but she always has some concept doesn't need to be. It just no. needs to be about celebrating who she is, what she's done, and and even who she, like w- what she's going to do in the future. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I look. I, I think it's a great plan. Come out with a couple songs. They're buzz songs to get hype for the tour. You mm-hmm. know, it'd be perfect. It's exactly what we need. I love a song of the summer from Madonna. You know, I, I mean, if it's something super fresh and like super pop and amazing it would be all over the place and i just think that that's exactly what she needs and wants to generate additional buzz for the tour and it'd be fun i just i mean you know these people who are constantly saying no new music and i'm like what's wrong i've never heard such a thing i feel like that's crazy like i just (laughs) i don't know what those people are about i just like it's absolute lunacy to me they can watch the concert from their sleeping bag in the parking lot. <laughs> I have a question for the two of you. Yes. Because I would like to unpack the caption to that photo on Twitter. The whole yes. thing about the naysayers and like mm-hmm. that. What what I would like to hear your thoughts on that. Uh, I'll just start because first well, of all. Let's, let's, let's read the. So yeah, yeah, read shall it. we report so, it? Report so the it. Actual, well, first, I love that she posted this on Twitter. And not on Instagram. And I was like, mm-hmm. that was a, a strange place to put it. Like, she's so Instagram heavy. And mm-hmm. it, it didn't go on Instagram. It didn't go on TikTok. It went on Twitter. And the actual caption was, when in doubt, go to work. Nothing shuts down the noise or the naysayers more than being in the creative process. And then someone pointed out, very poignantly, the little emojis she used as the handwriting tool, music, microphone. So clearly indicating, yes, I'm writing new music. So Liberty, what, what's your take on that? Well, we have said many, many times on the show, like the creation, the feeling of creation is what lifts you out of funk. You know what I mean? It keeps you going, keeps you looking for the next thing. You and I love to create, I want to say even like two episodes ago or maybe uh, um, three, I don't remember, but we, we, we even talked about the, how, how important it is to be creative. And for her, I don't know what it is exactly she's referring to when she says the naysayers and the negativity. I can't imagine it's still regarding, um, her new look, let's say at the Grammys. At the Grammys, you wonder if what the message of the music that she's writing with Max Martin is going to be. Is it? Is she indicating that you know maybe the? I, I mean, I don't know. Is it going to be like a, a human nature esque type of song where she's? I'm not apologizing. Mm. So I look at it. TikTok is like the goofy videos that show up on TikTok and in Reels, and then Instagram is definitely like the kids, the family, the behind the scenes. But if you scroll through the Twitter feed, it is mostly focused on music. Like the last few tweets have been all about like the new releases, the digital releases, all the reissues, like the anniversary things. And then of course, but she also is, it's where she gets the most pointed because that was the only place that we got. Look how cute I am now that the swelling from the surgery has gone down. Mm-hmm. Also, it's her, it's, it's, it's her, it's her clap back channel as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause it has, it still has the highest capacity to go viral mm-hmm. in a way that Instagram now with its algorithm and TikTok as well, it's just not going to operate the same way, but the tweets have been primarily focused since Rhino kind of started getting involved with all the reissues and like, yeah. 
like all the digital re-releases that have been coming out on Fridays, those have all been on the Twitter feed, not the Yeah, oh yeah, her team is definitely yeah. more in control of the Twitter feed than she so is. It's, I it's feel like that's, it yeah, it's more strategic for sure. Yeah. But I, I, I mean, mean I, yeah. I love that she she mixed it up and she she did post that on Twitter because it was kind of like, a, oh, what? Madonna on Twitter? What? And what a great picture to sort of like tease whatever they're doing. Um, I love it. I'm excited about it. I'm thrilled uh, to think of what the two of them can can concoct and can come up with because you know, if you look back at Max Martin's involvement in some of these other artists, I mean, these hits, these songs are amazing. Like, amazing. Yeah, I mean, that guy, he got me to like a song by Maroon 5, and I fucking hate Maroon 5. <laughs> I love, ooh, 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 ooh. oh my God, that's so yeah, good. I know. It's, there was, I was listening to it at the gym today, the, the, the playlist on Spotify, and I just thought, wow, this is just such a man and he's i mean he's won awards he's mm-hmm. some of his songs have charted number one all over the world and i mean if madonna wants to make a splashy song this is the way to go this is the way to do it this is the perfect person to involve yeah and if it's what? sassy it could even be along the lines of the best sassy song he did with grande latte which is break up with your girlfriend mm, yeah i mean we have no yeah, idea he did that we, song we have no idea where she's gonna go with it you know i mean if you look at i mean obviously he caters to the artist he's working with i'm sure he's bringing ideas you know she's gonna have her ideas the, i mean hopefully the the relationship is working really well and that they get along really well um i I think she works well with european producers you know Mm -hmm. she brilliance with stuart price and brilliance with william orbit and brilliance with mirrorways and like she works very well she has a very good european sense sensibility with her and her musicality so i'm i'm super excited like it can't get here fast enough (laughs) Mm -hmm. why do you think though it's taken so long there's a plan it's her marketing team. They they have they know when they want to drop it. They know when it's no. The, but I mean, like you mean her and Mark in Max her Martin. career. Oh, Look why it took his, them so long to yeah. get to work for her, her to work with Max? Hmm. You know what? Good question. I, maybe it, he wasn't on her radar. Mm. Uh, you know, maybe she did think working with him might be something to. to too popular too mainstream for her but i mm-hmm. think if that was the case it's intentional that she's working with him like some people i saw some people were like she's selling out and i'm like no she's making a smart business move yeah. she wants she wants this song to be everywhere and who best to go to than the person who can get a song everywhere or maybe they met at britney's wedding <laughs> and they just clicked oh they I just, love that. just clicked saying. I'm I just saying. That. I'm Wait, gonna pretend saying. that's the real story. I mean, if she, if he just worked with Kim Petras, Kim Petras was like, "Let me call." Or maybe he was. You know, he was. So he won Grammys that night. He would have been at the Grammys because he yeah. was a Grammy winner for uh, uh, the Lizzo album. Mm. Yeah. So maybe they bumped into each other at the after party, and. Kim Petras was like, Madonna, you have to work with Max. He's great. Yes, he's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, it could really he's have the been just... Coat. Yeah, it could have just <laughs> been as simple as they ran into each other at one of the industry parties and were like, oh, hey, why have we never worked together? Yeah. That's true, too. Yeah, yeah maybe so. And or, yeah, or it was her, like, get me on the Grammys. I know Matt uh, Martin's going to be there. I want to meet him. Set it up. Let's go. Yeah. Who you knows? You never know. You never yeah. know. Well, so okay, can I ha- can I ask another question? Yes. What what is your wish given given the breadth and the depth of the sounds that he has created? What are each of your sort of like sonic wish for the song? Go Liberty. I I know because I, I have this answered already. Go Liberty. <laughs> I can't tell you. I don't know. I mean, the unexpected to me is always the best. So I don't I don't set the expectations. I just let her tell okay. me what's good. I kind of wanted to either have a, like, I've liked, a, I was surprised at how much of the recent songs from The weekend that he had produced. I was like, yep. oh, wow. Because, yep. you know, Abel has really self-produced a lot of his early stuff. Like, all his 
early EPs and stuff that you could download from the internet. That's where I was like, oh yeah, that's the weekend I enjoy. And yeah, a- after I can't feel my face, and when he kind of went in that like uh s- swede pop direction i was like oh this is interesting and i had no idea that max martin had been producing a lot of that and it's an interesting turn notice that he doesn't get called out for selling out or whatever exactly um but i could i would find that interesting but i also i loved ariana grande's thank you next album and like a lot mm-hmm. of the work that he did on there and mm-hmm that could be a really interesting vein as well. But come yeah, on, Stefan, you're no, like chomping at the bit to tell no, us what you want to hear. Just, you're, no, you you were in my brain, Benjamin. That's exactly I when I realized he did the weekend stuff. I was like, that's a, when I heard that those songs from the weekend, I said, why isn't Madonna doing music like this? And I thought, now, I don't think they will be producing music exactly like the weekend but and i know where you're pointing liberty i know exactly what you're gonna say <laughs> if we all remember uh about a year and a that half was over ago, a year ago yeah, yeah a year and a half ago madonna was in the studio with the weekend and his producer true, and so true. who knows what seeds were and she bought his house there. yeah i mean you, you never know what relationships you know maybe the weekend was like you should work with max and it took a year and change for them to finally make it happen. Or they've been working and exactly. this was just an old picture. Did she have red hair in the picture? I didn't so pay attention. I, she does. So yeah. okay. I, I, I were in Ben and I are in a little MLVC Kiki chat on Instagram with a, it's not intentional. You weren't left out on purpose, Liberty. It's oh just my it's a, gosh. It's a gay it, man thing. It's, it's man also thing. a lot of over over messaging. It would drive you crazy. Oh yeah, you would have you'd be lost. You'd, it's the, like forty I, messages that you have to catch up on, <laughs> and you're like, oh, fix it, Jesus. Yeah. yeah, you'd come in from you'd come out of class, and you'd have your five brain cells, and this would waste all of them, and and, uh, and drain your phone battery. But yeah, much like, love to that group. They're wonderful. Oh, we love it. I love it. It's like Real Housewives of MLVC. And, okay, but, basically, um, basically. But we we chit chat about that and that exact topic. I brought that up. I said maybe this is an old photo of them, and the song is actually closer than we think. And one of them, uh, Michelangelo, uh, who we had on the, he's our resident hairstylist. Mm-hmm. He had yes. pointed out, no, 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 that is the correct hair tone from her current day. Um, I think actually Michelangelo and. Jason Lee Hare, who uh, we also uh, have not yet had on the show, but he's another hairstylist. Th- they've given us the the four one one of Madonna. No, it's current Madonna's hair. So, oh, very good. I'm glad that go. somebody's keeping tabs on. This oh, stuff. listen, they can timeline it to the hour. It's a talent. <laughs> yeah, they're like, no. See how deep her roots are. That was from mm-hmm. last week, and I mean, it's it's kind of. It's, oh yeah, it's, no. Seriously, they're like, see amazing. that sprig of gray that showed up last <laughs> night. Yeah. It wasn't in the yeah. paparazzi photo, but it's there mm-hmm. in Instagram today. Yeah. Bibby Bobby. Bobby. <laughs> um, but. Ben, like going back, yes, I would absolutely adore if, if there was the weekend sound. He also did a song back in the day with Kesha. I think he worked on Below. And I mean, not, yeah, that, he did. not, right. that, oh, yeah. not that he would bring Madonna back that far and do a sound like that. But I mean, the production value of Below is kind of fierce. And it's like, if we could have something like, but yeah, the Ariana Grande stuff too. I mean, come on. That that stuff is so good. Like people, we should be praying that they deliver that type of brilliance for us. Like we would be gagging over that type of Madonna music. Who wouldn't want to hear her do that? Well, but those people all have like a sound, and so this is different and unexpected. So that's why I, I feel like I can't I can't predict, and I don't want to do. You know, oh, it sh- I want to have a little bit of a funk to it. I don't know. I just feel like, you know, I lay down and she just steamrolls me. And that's how it, that's our relationship. That's yeah. I mean, Martin is pretty adaptable. I mean, other than like the sort of Y2K sound that he's he not going to do Backstreet all- Boys. It's not going to be Backstreet Boys. Well, darn. But, well, but hold up. My point was that sound applied to multiple artists that he and his studio, his team was working on at the time. But it's interesting now because both in fashion and music, those Y2K sounds have made a comeback, right? Mm -hmm. Like, Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, 
a lot of Pink's album, Trust Fall, traffic's in the, not all of it, but there's a few of the songs there that traffic in that Y2K sound. And I was like, well, that's interesting because you were a Y2K artist. So, yeah, yeah, like it's an interesting loop for the culture to complete there. Yeah. No, it'll be it'll be fun to see which direction he and she decide to go down. I am I have I have much faith. I hope it's more than one. I would like to see them do two, like a ballad and an up tempo track. Hallelujah. I I want yeah, I mean I wanna I want an EP. I want I wanna hear the the psychic tracks that she's worked on. I want to hear these new Max Martin tracks. You know, like I just want, I always want new Madonna. I'm, I'm sorry. And, I'm selfish. And, well, she'll be a guest also on Christine and the Queens that we Thank didn't you. mention that. I was yeah, just going to yeah, bring yeah. that up. So Madonna is announced that she will, or Christine's press people announced that Madonna will be appearing on three tracks in the forthcoming album of Christine and the Queens. Again, if you don't know who Christine and the Queens is shame on you, go listen to his music. Sorry, I'm trying to get the pronouns right. Um, Mm -hmm. Chris is amazing. Uh, The three tracks. So Chris's music is the new albums being divided up into three sections and Madonna is appearing on the the first section called angels crying in my bed the next song she appears on in the second section, I Met an Angel. And the third is Lick the Light Out. What do we think Madonna's involvement with Chris is going to be? Do we think it's her singing with Chris? Or do we think it's going to be spoken word? I'm dreaming of spoken word. And a little bit of French as well. Mm. I was going to say, oh, I think it's going to be background vocals and a bridge in French. Ooh, mm. that would be sweet. Yes. So like her yeah. doing like love song, love song with Prince. Yeah, basically. Mm, yeah. They, oh, yes. Yeah. Especially if Mike Dean is producing it, like there's that potential for it to have that sort of like hip hop sound. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, because yeah. 07 O Shake is appearing on a couple also, of tracks as yeah, well. Yeah. And so I'm wondering if maybe like all of the people who are appearing on the tracks will have a similar type of um contribution where it's all just like rap, spoken word, poetry. Very up your alley, Ben. Mm-hmm. Uh yeah, but their previous albums have been a little more how to say like synth poppy. Yeah. I don't, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it'll be interesting. I mean, just because Mike Dean is producing it, but apparently the, the collaboration comes out in June. So it's, it's it's, it's coming soon. So it's dropping like early June, right before the tour starts. And I think I heard that maybe one of the songs might be out before the actual, you know, because they, yeah, it makes Chris, sense. Chris already yeah. released uh, a first single, so maybe we'll get another track before, and yeah. it might be yeah. one of the ones with Madonna. Um, yeah, I think Madonna's plan is to just be everywhere very, very soon. I have mm-hmm. a feeling we are not only going to get songs on, obviously, the Christine and the Queens album, I still swear there's going to be a song on Takesha's upcoming album that they did. I think that the Sikic song is going to come out eventually at some point. Um, question. Do we think Madonna might make a hype appearance at Coachella? Because not only is Christine in the Queens going to perform at Coachella, but so is 070 shake. And what would be better than Madonna popping up at Coachella mm-hmm. performing with Christine in the Queens performing with 070 shake. I mean, come on, that would be, mm-hmm. that would be really fun. And, a, and a another great... kiss. I don't Ooh. know. That might interrupt rehearsals in New York. She's taking break from rehearsals to work on music with Max Martin. Maybe yeah. by that time they'll be on the West coast. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, preparing preparing uh, for Vancouver. I'm telling you, they're going to plunk down in yeah, that stadium. Prob- yeah, it's probably going to. The rehearsals will at a certain point move to the West Coast for sure. Yeah, of course. Yeah, they have yeah. to because they have to. They have to practice on at the stage least, at least six weeks before. So probably like early June. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So I yeah I'm kind of excited. Uh, hopefully you know there'd be. It, it, it would behoove her to at least show up. I mean, she doesn't have to do a full blown dance. She could just 
stand next to Chris. It's just about the, the photos. It's just about the video. Yeah. Right, right, right. It's just the, the social, everyone with their phones. Right. It is interesting how this feels, you know, her usual cycles. And we've talked about this before. It's an album comes out and the tour follows like six months or so after. But, you know, it's not unprecedented that there was albums and releases that came out. And then there was, I mean, think about Blonde Ambition. That was supposedly in support of like a prayer, but then yeah. I'm breathless dropped like while the tour was happening. So it's not unprecedented for something to come out mid tour. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah. yeah. But I don't want to wait that long. <laughs> we'll get something soon. I'm telling you, I want it now. There you go. Yeah. It'll, it'll come out late spring, summer. If there's anything coming out, I still stand by. I think it's a hits package with extra songs. I don't think we're getting, a it would make album. sense. You know, mm-hmm. it would, it would make sense yeah. to sort of package up a, a greatest hits and put out a couple of new tracks with it. Because again, they want to maximize as much Madonna mm-hmm. music as possible. And we all know our girl to assume that she would go on tour without any new music. Is, it's is not her vibe. That is not how she operates. Yeah, you know? never She's, ever. This would be the first never, time. It, it, had, it has never happened, and she ain't going out like that. No, mm-hmm. it, that goes against her nature to move forward. It really yeah. does. She is not a legacy act, people. You'll get greatest no. hits for sure. But yeah, oh yeah, she, will, she can do one new track, and it, you can go to the bathroom if you don't want to hear it. Okay? Exactly. The hot. Yeah. So she may even call it the hot dog song. And do a video <laughs> with the everything, everywhere, all at once. Hot dog Ooh, fingers. Oh. So thank you for bringing up the videos. So I had a thought the other day. So yeah, remember how we've all been saying for the last couple of months now, I'm in fear that Madonna's not going to be on stage for every single song because they're going to have drag queens or 07 O'Shake or Tokisha or who somebody else is going to pop on while Madonna's backstage having a, a, a soy latte. <laughs> and More like a B12 injection. Yes, exactly. Of course. Uh, you know, but... I, I've always been fearful that maybe she won't be on stage for the whole tour, but I thought the only thing that will make that okay is maybe she'll do a video background for every song she's not going to be on stage for. So at least if we're bored by the drag queen performing. Because <laughs> they're can, so boring. Yeah, we can at least have <laughs> something else new to yeah. keep us interested and I thought I would, that makes sense. I would imagine well, that, that that would keep me in my seat. Who was the videographer that sort of has joined the crew that we were talking about a couple, a few episodes ago, in addition to Ricardo? Uh, well, Kashuia has been right. Isn't that Kashuia? That's how you say I, his name? There's like a couple people who've been like involved in like recording videos and were involved in the Vanity Fair project. And so it's entirely possible. Yeah. That there's going to be, additional video content and it makes sense because there will be backgrounds even for the non for like the parts that are performed by other types of performers yeah so. it won't just be rehashing her old videos i think it's gonna no. be new stuff. yeah i think it's gotta be new stuff you know mm-hmm. i think it's new- to her she'll have to i mean she she doesn't want she has to do new stuff. It's just in her nature. Yeah, she that loves said, it. if she wants to show the original Ockerlin director's cut of American Life at some point on a gigantic screen and huge stadium sound, I would be fine to stand there and watch that. <laughs> yeah, I would not. I would not mind for the twentieth anniversary of it. That'd be kind of cool. Or unreleased like parts to those that you know sure. things that fell on the cutting room floor that we mm-hmm. hadn't yet seen. Uh, you all st- the Vogue footage that uh-huh. was released like crazy, so crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I when yeah. last thing, when do we think the new North American dates for the celebration tour are going to be announced? I, I mean, they've been leaking all <sighs> over the place, uh, and uh, hello. Philadelphia is on the list. Of course, <laughs> I, I buy DC tickets because she hadn't announced Philly and now she's coming to Philly. And I'm like, so if anyone is listening and wants to treat co-hosts. Is that Stephanie, one of the January or February shows? It's December 20th, apparently. So Christmas oh, in wow. Philadelphia. Right next to Christmas. Yeah. So if anyone mm. wants to treat co-host Stefan to a Christmas gift in Philadelphia, I'm available. That's interesting. I actually was in Philadelphia on December 20th this past year. I'm like, hmm, maybe I can repeat that trip. (laughs) (laughs) 
You you should. You should come. We should all go. It'd yeah. be fun. I was disappointed, though. I mean, it was, I thought that Australia, South America, Asia, you know, I'm hopeful for them. Those fans really they deserve yeah i mean maybe it's coming maybe that's why they haven't oh, announced I, I it yet know. like maybe it's it'll be like those last couple of north american dates and then some well, we, south we america know that, don't we know i mean not confirm but like there have been rumors about booked stadiums in latin america in february and march for months now Correct. for months Correct. yes so i think that's what you're going to see i don't know that australia so. is going to make it this time but i think I south america's in for a couple of months at least yeah. look she's got to pay for that self-financing biopic somehow right right because you know that's what's happening i'm yeah. telling you oh yeah it, it, like everyone's like, where are the re the album reissues? Where are the album reissues? It's like people, let's do the math. She was working on the biopic. They were assuming that she was going to be filming and editing and producing the biopic. And that's when the album reissues were come out because the biopic did not move forward. They paused the reissues. She's going on tour so she can raise money to self-finance the biopic after the tour is over, she will then go and work on the biopic. And that's when we will get the reissues. So uh, we all just have to be patient. Madonna's running an empire. I get it. We all want to have it right now. Are you talking to us? Or are you talking to you, Stefan? <laughs> I feel like you're talking to you because you know who you're talking well, to. Who really wants a, it now? But he has a point because... You know, this whole notion of like anniversaries and, yeah. and, and, oh, it's been so many years since this, this reissue, that again, not the vibe, never has been, never will be. Yeah. She doesn't care. It's like, yeah, yeah. she'll do it on her time when she, you know, she's, yeah. she's in a completely different world. She doesn't operate on a, oh, I have to be ready to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Ray of Light. She does <laughs> Can not you imagine? care. No. She, doesn't, I don't, she doesn't even know what month it is or like what, no. how, like she's only told Madonna. God, we should all live like that. Yeah. I it's mean, so funny too, because we clearly, she likes money and those would be like the quickest way to like make some money. But like, yeah. it sure. just doesn't because it's not the vibe it's not going to happen she's artistically driven you know she's being yeah. driven by what what creatively fulfills her not cash grab you know yeah. because if madonna was about cash grab she would just put out a christmas album and sing that every year right right or right. that we would have had we'd be on like our fifth fifth edition of confessions right like <laughs> right, right. yeah confessions no. on a dance floor chapter and it, three and it's not even like ego it is a creative id that mm -hmm. drives that sort of energy, right? Like there's a vanity to it, but it's more primal than an ego. So, yeah. you know, and I mean, I understand a little bit as a poet because you can get into that zone, even as a writer where you sort of pursue this sort of like creative id and people mistake it for ego, but it really is this sort of drive to just do and create. And it's independent of time. And it's even independent of result. Mm -hmm. It's about the process. And, mm -hmm. you know, she speaks to this in terms of like how much her happiest time is when she's putting the tour together. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You because know. she's it, the creative output is so much, so much. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. constant, constant, constant. Yeah. Well, and I imagine that's sort of cyclical. I mean, if you're just doing it for money all the time, just money, it, it doesn't do fuel the show. creation. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, exactly. it doesn't fuel the will to create. So the, Continual creation is what fuels the will to create. <laughs> ben in your sly shade. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm just like, you know. No, but it's true. Yeah. It's true. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be an artist selling at the peak of your selling capacity and doing a Vegas show. Much love to anybody who does because it's an easy mm -hmm. life. But no. I mean, I get it. You know, like it, people want to just be able to like go to work do their thing, get their and money, go yeah, and I go get home. It. I get legit, it. Legit. Madonna, Madonna is a different animal than that. Mm -hmm. You know, she has never had the desire. I mean, I Liberty, you and I have talked about this all the time. We often wonder if many of like the personal tastes that we have developed as people or the decisions that we make in our life 
are as a direct result because of Madonna and her choices. You know, I'm like, I always sit there and think, why did I have a desire to go to New York? Was it because of Madonna and desperately seeking Susan? And I'm like, yeah, I think it was. Yeah, I I think think, it was. I think it was just ingrained in my mind. I don't think it was a sub, I think it was a subconscious desire to like, I have to go because that's where Susan was. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, I I do feel that that has it. And, but at the same time, there's parts of things like things that she does, which mimic what I, what I'm actually doing. I mean, I was you, you dyed in your Europe hair, for American. You dyed your hair red first. I mean, <laughs> okay, that's a direct choice that I made specifically because I want to be Madonna when I grow up. <laughs> but um, the, like when American Life came out, I was in Europe and it was like it hit so hard because it was relevant. Exactly, like going, I was going through exactly that. But everything that she would say on the record in my was like, oh, yeah, okay, that is the right decision because I'm thinking I'm interpreting what she says. I mean, yeah, you started wearing berets. I mean, it was crazy. It was a crazy. (laughs) I went to the Basque country. I got (laughs) myself a Basque guy. I mean, I feel like I feel like, you know, you're twins without her. I'm nothing. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Well, everyone, that's our show for today. I hope you enjoyed the, this healthy debate as much as possible. Unfortunately, it's a podcast, so you didn't get to see Ben whip his titties out during the during the podcast, <laughs> or uh, or Liberty uh, uh, open her her <laughs> her jam heart. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the things you miss. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Oh no, you got to do that Ooh. to the beat from Justify My Love. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yes. Oh no, I thought Liberty was doing the when Madonna yeah. takes her bra. And yeah, exactly. Oh, but da, there. Da, 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 da. Woo! Yes. Yeah. It's a it. journey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I love her. All right, yeah. people. Well, go Redbubble. Get your I'm uh, get your MLVC tank top, t shirt, coffee mug. You, you know, whatever. You, I'll see you later at the function. It's available right now on Redbubble on the MLVC sh- shop. I'll see you later at the function. Yes. Check it out. Check get it one out. for one of your titties or both of them. It's your <laughs> choice. Yeah. Get one tank top for each titty. That's there right. you go. There you go. It's the new style. You sling it over your shoulder and like loop them across. Maybe I'll get another one just to try it. Please send pictures. Oh, then I could like get a crucif. Then I could get like a rosary and like use that to like knot it in the middle. Like, yeah. You have. It's like Madonna from 1982 lives in your brain. She just lives there. In some ways, she, that Madonna made me. So, yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> sleep, sleep well, Liberty. Nighty night, boys. Good night.